welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a L'Oreal first impressions. And I know in my last video I said that I was working on a Maybelline first impressions, but I had a change of heart and I will probably talk about that more in that video. So today's video is going to be on the brand new product that just launched. It is the L'Oreal Paris Magic BB Cream, the anti-redness. They also have an anti-fatigue, which is in more of an orangey, pinky tube. And along with it, they also paired the BB cream, the Magic BB cream, that launched, I think, sometime last year. So what this is, is a L'Oreal Magic BB cream, and this is the anti-redness one. It says that it transforms to a universal shade to reduce the look of redness. On the back, it says, discover our anti-redness BB cream with beautifying beads, color-transforming pigments, infused into an ultralight lotion to counteract redness. It also claims that it has four beautifying actions in one. It neutralizes the look of redness, corrects skin color for a healthy looking even complexion, hydrates for all day moisture, and perfects complexion. So it also goes on to say that it is dermatologically tested and it does not clog your pores. So like I said, this did only come in one shade and there was not a tester tube to try it out. So this will actually be the first time that I'm opening the package as well as trying it out for the first time in front of you guys. So I also wanted to tell you these BB creams are pretty spendy. I found mine at Fred Meyers. I'm sure they're going to be popping up all over the place. Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, CVS, all your local drugstores. I'm sure they'll be coming very soon. I haven't seen them anywhere but my Fred Meyers, but again, this is a very, very new product. Um, I also wanted to say these are pretty spendy. Um, this alone was $11.99. I know the other BB creams are $11.99. They also came out with some concealers, another foundation, and a cream blush, which I think I will um, just add into this video a little bit later when I finish doing the BB cream. I absolutely love the packaging. I love the green tint to it, and it really reminded me of my BH Cosmetics um, corrector palette. You guys know how I love my green corrector shade, and I'm really hoping that this has the same effect. I'm wondering how much coverage this has and how it is going to be a universal shade for everybody. It's very, very intriguing. I don't know how it's going to work. I tried looking it up on the website, the L'Oreal website, and they actually didn't have this posted yet. Um, I know in the UK, the L'Oreal UK site, they had this on there, but that was actually the Magic CC cream. So I don't know if these are two different products or maybe just different packaging or if they have completely different ingredients in it. I didn't really do too much research because I just wanted to jump on in and get this first impressions up because I'm so super excited to try it out. So let's just go ahead and start. So I'm opening the tube right now and obviously it is a squeeze tube. So the first thing that I'm noticing is it has a very, very tiny, teeny little spout that the product actually comes out. Um, there is no stopper, but it was wrapped up in this plastic. So um, if you guys are worried about the product actually being opened, make sure that you look for the plastic covering the whole entire top of the tube. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm seeing that it is like this green color. So this is what it looks like. It is extremely runny. It's running all over the back of my hand. It doesn't have like any noticeable beads in it. Like I can't feel the beads as I'm rubbing it on the back of my hand. It's very, very smooth. As you guys can see, as I'm working the product onto the back of my hand, it is transforming into the color of my skin. So that is pretty cool. That is so weird. I think I'm gonna be applying it with my Royal Care Cosmetics Round Top Kabuki. Now, as you guys can see, my skin is not perfect today. Um, I've actually had quite a few breakouts happen. I also always have redness right in here. Um, I, I don't know what that's caused from and it's just always there. So I always have redness right about here. That's why I did decide to get the redness instead of the anti-fatigue. So I actually do have some moisturizer on my face, um, but as for any primers, I hate using primers in a first impressions because I don't want anything to manipulate this product. I want to really see how this product works, how it holds up, just all on its own. I'm going to apply a small amount on the back of my hand, and like I said, it's really runny, so it's already making a mess on the spout. Um, and then I'm just going to start applying it 
with the brush on my face. So I don't know how far this product is gonna go and just by that little bit I put on my hand, it was not enough. So I'm gonna actually squeeze some on my hand and put dots all over my face because putting it on my hand, it just kind of soaked into the brush. So that really didn't work. This stuff is really runny though, so I don't know. We'll see how this works because you guys know that I hate putting dots on my face. Oh my gosh, I got way too much. Okay, that might be too much, guys. That might be too much. I'm gonna first start by patting like always. And as you guys can see, the green is slowly dissipating with my brush strokes. I'm interested to see if this really is going to transform into the color of my skin. Okay, now that I have it all patted out, I am going to start buffing it. And this will really break the color beads and get the right color of my skin, as well as blend in the product. Okay, so the actual BB cream, the color, I don't know if it's my lights, but it's making my face look really white in the camera but it actually matches perfectly, which I am incredibly surprised. As far as the redness on my cheeks, there it's gone. My acne redness is gone, but the acne spots I can still see. It does what it says. It um, evens out the skin tone, it evens the complexion. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I just got it all over my pants. Ooh, okay. Not good. Again, it says it neutralizes the look redness, which it did. It says it corrects skin color for a healthy looking even complexion, which it did even my skin tone. Hydrates for all day moisture. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a time test and for those of you who haven't seen my first impressions videos, it's where I update you guys throughout the day and see how this product is holding up. So that we will see. I really like the way this looks, guys. Oh my gosh. This is actually really nice. It doesn't have a smell. I do not notice anything heavy. There's nothing. I can smell nothing, so it has no scent. This stuff is awesome, guys. Oh my god, I'm already loving it. It's setting really, really nicely. It is a little bit tacky still, so it might take a little bit to set. It feels like I don't have anything on my face. It's really, really light. Again, what I was worried about is if it didn't have enough coverage. Um, as far as what I can see now, it actually evened out my skin tone where I don't even feel like I need to mix this in with foundation or add any more coverage except for on my acne spots, of course. I don't like the darkness, um, but there is no redness to them anymore. Um, it really did a good job of evening out my skin tone. I absolutely love it. What I do want to do is I'm going to go over it with the Real Technique sponge just to pick up any extra product. And it almost has like a satin finish. It's not a completely matte finish. I still see my natural glow <laughs> shining through. And so it's not completely matte, which I'm actually really, really liking. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, I'm gonna damp my beauty blender and be right back. Okay, you guys, so I wet my beauty blender or got it damp and then I put on a headband because I'm sweating to death. Um, so all I'm gonna do is um, go over what I did with my brush soak up any extra product as well as blend the product in even more and I like the finish that the sponge gives the damp beauty blender so I don't know if you guys can tell because of my lights they're really really bright but the shade completely matches the rest of my body like there's no doubt about it this actually transformed oh and my eyelash is coming off that's cute so there's no doubt about it that this actually transformed into my skin tone. So yeah, I am really, really loving it. I'm going to go ahead and finish putting on the rest of my makeup like always and give you guys my final thoughts. Hey everybody, so I almost forgot that I wanted to show you guys one more product. So before I complete my makeup, I obviously have to put all my creams and liquids on before I do my powder. So the product that I want to show you guys is the brand new L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Blush. It is a cream blush and this is what it looks like. They actually had three shades and mine is in 502 Soft Pink. On the back it says instantly blurs dullness for a just kissed glow. So I actually have not tried this yet and I figured I would do a first impressions on this as well. 
just as a little kicker. It comes in the same kind of tube, just a squeeze tube, and it comes out really, really thick. Um, so as you guys can see, this is what it looks like. So really, really thick product. Um, and I'm just gonna take a little bit on my hand, and again, all I did was a little bit of highlight. I haven't powdered or anything. I'm actually gonna take it on my finger like so, and rub my fingers together. Ooh, this kinda is messy. So I'm gonna rub my fingers together, and isn't that such a beautiful shade? It's a beautiful shade. So all I'm gonna do is tap it where I want my blush. And then I'm going to take my Real Techniques stip stippling brush, and I'm just going to blend that out just ever so slightly. It actually is a really beautiful, like, light kiss of color. So now I'm actually going to go ahead and powder my face and finish the rest of my makeup. So I finished applying all my makeup. I absolutely love the Miracle Blur Blush. I absolutely love the BB Cream. I think it made my makeup look so, so, so good. I am completely just in shock on how well this BB cream actually transformed into my actual color. I will be doing a time test. I don't know if I'll be able to get to all eight total full hours because I think I am going to have a mommy's night out tonight. But I will go as long as I can to show you guys how well this BB cream really works. First off, I do want to say the redness is completely gone in my face. It took the redness out of my blemishes. It took the redness off my face. I just absolutely love that aspect of it because that's what this is supposed to do. It's an anti-redness BB cream. As far as the coverage goes, I think it's a light to medium coverage. You can build up this product to get a medium coverage or you can put a very, very thin amount on your face and get that beautiful, just even complexion look. I feel safe to say that if I just used this BB cream along with the brand new Miracle Blur blush, the cream blush, and just topped it off with a translucent powder, I, I would feel safe to say that I would walk out of the house like that. Maybe add some mascara. It'd be the perfect like poolside river makeup. Right now it is 3.39 in the afternoon. Again, I'm going to wear this for a little bit throughout the day and then check back to see how this product really holds up. Hey everybody, so I'm back and it is now 6 o'clock, so it's been about two hours and I gotta say, I still love this BB cream. I'm not shiny or sticky or tacky. My face feels like I have nothing on it. The blush is just, it looks exactly like how I put it on. Uh, my makeup is not wearing down whatsoever. Again, I'm not oily, not even the slightest bit in my T-zone. It's still completely dry and matte. And the only shininess you guys are seeing that shine that is actually my highlighter that I applied. I think this is gonna be like my holy grail product. I definitely wanna go try the anti-fatigue and see the difference. I'm assuming that one's more of like a salmon-y um, color instead of a green. As for this one, I just am absolutely in love with it. I love it. My face looks flawless. It feels so like I have absolutely nothing on. I don't know how many times I can say how much I love this BB cream. And I know it's only been a couple hours, but like I said, I do have plans tonight and I probably will be doing uh, my makeup over again, so I'll probably have to take this off. But I will probably update you uh, maybe in an hour and check back in an hour or so and show you guys how this BB cream is really holding up. Hey everybody, okay, so it is now 8.08 .08 and it has been another two hours about and I'm sorry it's really loud in here. It's actually not kids. My kids just left with my mom, their grandma, and it's a whole bunch of fans. There's our AC over here, which is really, really ugly, and I'm sorry that that's in the camera shot. And then I have a big fan down here, and also my dryer is going on. It's really, really hot in here and muggy. But anyways, back to the point. So it has been another two hours, and I have to say, I am still absolutely loving this BB cream. So I know I look a little bit shiny. Like I said, I have been cleaning up the house, 
and just picking stuff up. I'm actually going out tonight and so I am getting ready to take off all this makeup and redo my makeup for tonight. And I am getting a little bit tacky where I didn't um, powder the rest of my face. I powdered underneath my eyes and then I also powdered in my T-zone and it's getting a little bit tacky. It probably could um, need some touching up, but other than that, I feel really good. I feel like it looks really good. It's not to the point where I'm like, oh God, I need to powder my face or I need to take off my makeup. Like. It feels extremely comfortable on my face still, and I'm really, really happy with this stuff. I have to say, I do recommend this BB cream. I think it's really fantastic, and it really makes me want to go try the um, fatigue one out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I know I didn't get quite to the eight-hour mark, but it's what I could do, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks, everybody.